Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, we're out today. Uh, I guess we had, we got back last night from Nebraska. Cheryl and I were out there turkey hunting. Um, on the way back, we stopped and picked up some food plot seed for this year. And I picked up a clover mix from uh, Greenwald Elevator in Greenwald, Minnesota on the way back. Um, I typically stop there in the spring and, and grab the seed I need for the year. Um, today we're out on a plot, uh, got a deer stand location here, a rifle stand, uh, and this is a kind of a shooting lane trail, and then this is the little plot. Last year we had uh, brassicas in here, um, so this plot's pretty clean. There's not a lot of weeds, a lot of bare soil now, so I got a clover mix. I think it's about a six blend uh, clover. Uh, a dino and uh, crimson and uh, some red clovers. I can't remember all them what's in the mix, but about six different clovers mixed in it. Uh, well, we were gone in Nebraska when we left uh, to go down there. It was one above. We got to Nebraska. It was 69 degrees on the first day last week on uh, Friday. Um, and when we left here, there was 30 inches of snow in the woods and uh, it was warm all week. A lot of melting pretty significant melting. I figured I'd have a lot of time to uh, get out and do this frost seeding, but uh, the snow, is, as you can see, is just about gone. Even in the woods where it's shaded, we're down to maybe six inches. So I'm gonna get uh, cedar on and uh, I'm gonna put, this is maybe a quarter of an acre, but because I'm frost seeding, I'm probably gonna seed it uh, at about a half acre rate to get a lot of seed on the ground. Um, just because frost seeding, you don't get as good a germination. So. You can see around this pot, uh, what we've done here is uh, cut back a lot of the mature popple that were uh, near the plot here. We cut a lot of that back and got all this regen on the edge. It really feathers the edge, makes some thick cover around the edge of the plot. Uh, there goes a deer in the background. It was bedded right there. It's still standing by that. Uh, big spruce there and they're not spooked that's the thing when they're when you got this much cover they feel pretty secure even when you're close to them so uh, typically this is what I'm doing with all my plants creating some edge knocking back some of the bigger timber and then creating just a small food plot with a buck trail along the back edge on both sides here so there's two wind directions for the bucks to run this uh, edge of this plot Anyway, we'll get we'll get to frost seeding. I want to get this on the ground before the moisture is gone here. We're supposed to get a uh, little bit more rain and snow mix here uh, next few days. So I'm gonna get this seed down and get things going here. I've got an Earthway spreader. It works the best. I had several of them. They work really well. They're pretty sturdy. I mean, they last a long time. So. That's what I've been using for quite a while, quite a few years. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to put this seed on pretty heavy. This isn't like a brassica where you got to worry about uh, the seed choking itself out or the plants choking themselves out. The clover's going to do just fine planted pretty heavily, so... Make sure I get plenty of seed done. Leave it open a little bit just so you can see kind of where you're at as you go. And there's settings on these on this earthway for the opening. You can set it for so far, but I like to just. Uh, run it with my hand that way you have a little more control on how much you put put note.
Okay, that's it. We'll uh, go on other plots. I'm going to overseed this clover last year. Hit it with a little more clover. Make sure it uh, holds on for another year. the second spot here uh, this one was already planted in clover but I'm gonna overseed it a little bit more uh, just to thicken it up I can probably do that every year just to gain a little bit on it so we'll get some seed on this one and that'll be it for today Okay, that's all the frost seeding we have for today. Uh, looks like we're going to get some snow and uh, rain mix here next couple days. So along with this melting snow, it should uh, get this seed off to a good start here. Get things really going. Uh, the next project we have on the farm here, I ordered some uh, American plum trees. I think I ordered 50 uh, bare roots and I got a shipping notice for that. So those should be coming pretty soon. Uh, next couple days and we'll uh, fence in an area and uh, be planting those uh, next uh, few days so that'll be the next project and I'll see if I can catch uh, some of that on video till next time guys uh, like and subscribe and keep on living a good life <laughs>